uh, Madam Nightshade again, and um, if you hear some giggling in the background, my daughter is filming. Um, I'm hoping that talking to her via, you know, her recording will help me uh, not be so nervous. So um, I wanted to film a little haul for you guys. Um, I said I'm already. Hmm. No, I said I'm already. Okay. So we have uh, three different places. We have a thrift store in town that I got some stuff from. Uh, a small Etsy order, and then there is a uh, tea and spice shop across town that we got some stuff from. So I'm going to start with the flea market thrift store. Um, this is the first item I picked up, spoon and a fork. And the, this one kind of called out to me. If you look real close, it has the King of Wands on it. And then this... It's just a pitchfork, and I don't know what goth girl doesn't need a pitchfork. So, that is the first thing. And then, I also found a small witchy cabinet here that was unused. So, it's got little hooks in the back here to hang it up. You can open the doors, and there's all your little jars. And it, it still has the stickers on it. Like, they never even, they never used it. So... Can label all your goodies and there's a couple drawers down here to put uh, crystals extras whatever in there so those were the things I got from the flea market and then Etsy I just ordered some crystals um, so I wanted to make a wand and I found a lady that had these uh, crystal points. She had three of them, and they were like six bucks for three of them. And they have a a hole drilled. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hole drilled in them. Hmm? Put your hand behind the. Oh. So you can see. Yeah. Okay. There's a hole drilled through the side here. Mm -hmm. And then um, I don't know how to wire wrap jewelry. I'm still learning. So. I thought that that would make it easier to make a wand and I got three so that I have a couple to practice with and then this uh, big one here is the one that I want to be my working wand crystal. Um, I did practice one already and then this is, this is what it looks like. It's the crystal point here. Um, this purple and turquoise wire is actually copper which is a induct or a conductor so you know your energy as you put it into it it's going to amplify it the energy from the crystal it's going to amplify it as well so there's that this is my first one that the end part was the hard hardest part and i how to finish that off so hopefully the next one turns out better um and then a different lady had some uh quartz generators and this is the one that I found. It's massive and beautiful. I don't know if you can see how pretty it is. But there's a lot of um, inclusions in there. And when you turn it certain ways, you see the rainbows. And quartz is probably... All we can see is your skin tone. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you see it now? No. Yeah. Um... Quartz is probably my favorite stone to work with. I've tried working with a few black stones. Um, obsidian, tourmaline has not gone well. I just ordered a black quartz point, so hopefully I can do a little better with that one. Um, the next thing is from the local tea shop. and I'm in Arkansas, so the name of the place is the Spice and Tea Exchange, and you can Go in there and kind of custom blend your own teas. They've got a ton of um, very fancy herbs and spices. And it's all organic, all food grade, which is good if you are going to ingest any of it. Or um, when you're making oils and stuff so you're not getting any pesticides and gunk along with it. Um, the first uh, tea blend that we have is called the White Tropical Tea. And this one has... Um, Chinese white tea, organic peach pieces, pineapple, uh, and passion fruit. Contains caffeine, it says. Well, I hope so. Um, the next She's one... gonna need it. <laughs> the next one is the Emperor's Chai Tea. 
And this one has black tea, cinnamon, cardamom, card I don't know how to say that, uh, ginger root, black pepper, and clove. So this goes kind of along the holiday theme that's coming up. And then this one, I cannot, I can't stop smelling it. It smells like flowers and tea. It's amazing. This is called the Mystic Dragon. And this is, I don't know how to say this word, Sencha, S-E-N-C-H-A. Uh, I don't know what that is. And Dragonwell Green Tea, Mallow Flowers, Corn Flower, Strawberry, and Rhubarb. Uh, Savannah and I, we're gonna drink this one tonight. So, um, also got a tea ball, because this is my first uh, loose tea experience. Nothing fancy, just a little ball with a hook to hang on your cup. If I can figure out how to link their website down below, I will. Um, if not, it is spiceandtea.com out of Bentonville, Arkansas. Come and smell the spices. Can you see it on there? I'm gonna focus. There we go. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then while we were there, I also picked up <clears throat> some um, herbs to cook with. They will let you also custom blend your um, like cooking spices. Um, they also blend their own. And this is Ozark Mountain Spice Blend. It reminds me of a Herb de Provence, kind of. It's a little, little heavier. Um, this one has juniper berry, uh, garlic, onion, peppercorn, lemon verbena, shallots, ginger, oregano, pink pepperberry, parsley, and lavender. Um, there is a note on here that pink pepperberry is part of the cashew family, so if you're allergic, probably stay away from it. Um, and then I got a few different herbs. So I did pick up some pink pepperberries while I was there. Um, I don't know if you can see any of these. Can you see them there? Take some and put them in your hand. Pink pepperberries or, or pink peppercorns. Um, and I looked up some of the uses for these so I could share that with you guys. Um, pink peppercorns. Um, you can use it for the same thing you would black peppercorns. This has kind of a, a feminine... Uh, note to it, spicy, rosy, feminine, um, can use to enhance uh, love and passion spells, add a little heat to it with that feminine uh, side. And then um, I ordered some lemongrass, or not ordered, I had her put some stuff in a, a bag for me. This is lemongrass, and this is good for cleansing. Um, it will cleanse obstacles as well as remove um, things in your path, like when you're doing road opening spells. Um, it's, it's good to cleanse the pathway and kind of drive forward. So um, you can also use it in some floor wa washes, kind of remove um, some of the funk in your house too, as well. Um, then we got some poppy seeds. Um, I tried to find or buy stuff that I can't just go to the grocery store and get, because that's kind of my go-to. I like to go to the little Mexican grocery stores here in town. We don't have a, a big herb herb place other than this tea shop. So, And I really wanted to get some mugs for it, but that lady had never heard of it. So oh, I guess I'll have to order that online. But um, these are our poppy seeds. There is a crap ton in here. Um, poppy seeds are used in confusion magic. Um, the flowers in some cultures are part of, um, like love, love and passion or a sign of love. So you can use them to protect, um, your love. If, you know, you have good intentions, bad intentions, you can, um, create confusion, uh, you can mix it with sulfur and confuse spirits that are on your property and kind of prevent them from getting at you uh, that way. It's all about your intention. I mean, if you wanted to do bad things with that, you could. You can also use it for good. Um, 
continuing with our black theme, these are black mustard seeds. Uh, same thing, uh, used in a lot of confusion magic. Um, you can use it to cause trouble or protection, and the two of these mixed together is pretty common and, and it can be pretty powerful, especially if you add some sulfur in with it. Um, I think the last, the last thing we got is a little bitty spoon. Um, couldn't resist. I love little bizarre silverware. I collect bizarre silverware. Actually, I like to um, raid the thrift stores and find the um, silver plated silverware if I can. Again, silver is a conductor. So as you are mixing your spells when I'm did the video. Um, so when I go to thrift stores, I pick up any um, silver plated utensils I can find. When I'm doing stuff for bourgeois bath and botanicals, I like to use a large or small silver spoon. Again, it's a conductor, so it is literally conducting my energy into whatever I'm mixing. Um, th this is not for that. This is just a small, kitschy, fun, adorable spoon uh, for salt. So um, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, love and light. Until next time. Thank you.